2023 and right now it's 5 11 p.m. New York time outside temperature is 58 degree Fahrenheit which is 14 degrees Celsius and I'm here inside a train station taking a shelter to set up this live stream as you can see it's raining hard it's raining so much outside I'm just taking a shelter inside this subway station and uh, if you just joined then kindly hit that like button for me and also feel free to let me know how is my video and audio quality Hey Sheldon, Alfred, hey Abu Akbar Hussain, good to see you here, good to see you here Dan, Dennis, good to see you here Ronnie C, uh, hello Martin, Yovini Yang, White Me Fan, good to see you here, good to see you here Mary Reed, Cynthia Kalman, hello, hello Boobies, Justice, Dan in Banger, welcome. As I said folks, if you just join, consider uh, give a like, I'm about to get out right now. Everything is ready. Uh, my umbrella is ready. Before I start this live stream, I made a video that is epic. I had some suspension and that in that video for you guys. Hey, Danny. Hello, hello, Mari, Mariko. Yeah, Mary. I see that it would be thunderstorm, but so far in Manhattan, it just heavy rainfall. I haven't seen any thunder. Hey, Stephen. Good to see you here, Stephen. How are you? I might not talk too much in this video. I'll let you enjoy this rain weather. Hello Gino. Good to see you here Gino. Huge water pet holes right here. I had to use some sort of different path in order to cross the street. Enrique, welcome. I see you when young. Thunder in uh, Brooklyn. I think in Queens I saw some thunder. But when I came to Manhattan, I I haven't seen any thunder here. Hello Mari. So much rain. Oh my gosh. It's been a while that I haven't seen this many rain i mean it's raining a lot hey alex good to see you here alex but the good thing is temperature is not that cold it's a perfect weather for a rain even if you get uh, soaked you will not get sick i hope because the temperature is very good it's a good rain Hey Drew, gluten free, welcome. If I can't replay you or if I can't say you a hi, I'm so sorry. It's impossible for me right now to scroll and say everyone hi. So, so I'm apologize for that. 
Hello, Rob, Victoria P. Welcome. Welcome much. I kind of like this kind of weather in New York City like not like continuously but once in a while I like this kind of thunderstorm with a heavy rainfall uh, it feels great I mean it feels amazing it's a different experience definitely not like when my <laughs> shoes get wet but other than that as long as I'm dry I'm okay, I'm enjoying the weather. Hello Paul, hello Dave Willida, good to see you. Oh, I hear a thunder right now. Oh my gosh. I just hear a thunder. Oh God. But I'm okay, I'm inside the city. There are so many tall buildings. So definitely all those lightning will not hit me. I'm too tiny compared to those huge buildings. I got a super chat from Kosima Perez. Hey Kosima. Hi everyone. Thank you Seaford for walking under the rain. Thank you Kosima. Thanks for the support. Appreciate that. Thank you Kosima. Thanks for your generous support. Appreciate that and have a wonderful evening from me. Thank you Kosima. Stephen saying I got soaked last week on the way home from work. Rained like crazy, I know, right? Hey, Sal, hello, hello, Sal. Yeah, Yuvin, I am quite careful. And if you haven't watched my uh, latest video that I uploaded in the morning about the American Museum of Natural History, I definitely recommend you watch that video. You will see something really exciting, really fun. But if you already watched that video about American Museum of Natural History, I really appreciate that. And thank you so much, Bisho63. Hey, Biso63, thanks again. Thanks for your generous support. Appreciate that, uh, Biso63. You are awesome. Thank you. The Richard Glider Center of Science, Education, and uh, Innovation is a great opportunity for New York City, I mean, New Yorkers, uh, to learn more about the world, natural history. Hey, Donna, hello. Thanks, Donna. I'm glad you like it. Oh, wow, Sal. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I see the lightning. It would be thunder. Oh, my goodness. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh, my gosh. I thought there will be no thunder in Manhattan. Oh, my good lord oh my oh my god there is another one oh my god <laughs> richard saying calm down i'm okay richard <laughs> i'm just so excited <laughs> i know nothing will happen But this is all about the New York City walking show. It's all weather channel. So I will highly appreciate if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Consider subscribe and support this channel. That's a great way to support. So that I can bring you this kind of amazing walking show no matter what the weather outside. Hey, Lena. Thank you so much, Lena. And right now I'm here inside Bryan Park. No one is here, literally no one. 
I'm the only person walking right here. Oh my gosh, these lawns are looking fabulous. They are definitely so happy and thankful to the gods for this kind of rainfall. And this green lawn will be open tomorrow, May 1st. But I don't think so anyone can see it tomorrow because of all this rain. But officially they will open from tomorrow. No more Empire State Building right here. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid trees, but let's see. I don't think so. it would be something crazy like that, that I will get hit by thunder. God forbid. I had all the people who is watching right now. You guys are praying for me, so I'm okay. I will be okay. Alex said, Georgia City is under flood warning. Oh my gosh. Hey, Narciso, hello. Alex said, who stole Empire State Building? Me. I hide it. It's a magic. <laughs> hey, Steven Show, hello. Oh gosh, again. Yeah, lightning, I mean. Yes, Steven Show. I hope you guys can hear it. See, I told you, I'm the only person here right now, except one couple I just seen. I'm okay, Luna. Don't worry about that. But thanks, I'm okay. so cold uh, it's not so cold that's why I'm enjoying the rain if it's cold then I'm not making this video I hate freezing rain but this rain is not freezing it's a very pleasant rain except those thunder and lightning hello Andrew
Yeah, Richard, today I feel like I should learn how to swim. <laughs> Seagull, hello. Hello, roaming with Robin. Now it seems like uh, it's a bit settled, but still a lot of rain. Asha Scotten, hello. Angel Q, hello Angel. Hey Darren Young, hello. That's what makes this channel special and makes me special. When you all thought that nobody will be outside, but you are wrong. There will be one person, which is me. I will be out and explore New York. This is nothing compared to a snowstorm. During the North Star, I made a live stream during a huge snowstorm. So compared to a snowstorm, this is nothing. This is just a warm-up for me. Whatever you think is exercise for you guys, that's a warm-up for me. I'm enjoying this kind of weather as long as I'm not getting sick. Busy Grand Central Terminal. Lovely tourists trying to take some cute picture with Chrysler building. Look at this. This is Chrysler building. A hey, Frank from New Jersey. Nancy takes his stand outside the Grand Central Terminal. Not yet, Nancy. Part, you can go tubing down 40 seconds. I'm trying, but thank you so much, Edie. Thank you so much, Edie. Uh, thanks for your support. Appreciate that. Have a wonderful evening from me. 
uh, they really are saying uh, when you take pictures for yourself do you use uh, let me see use a big camera or just your phone I always use my phone I do had a professional camera but I rarely use those cameras I just use my phone because nowadays phones are more than enough like especially iPhones 13 14 they are pretty good and any other phone company the latest release are really good you really need you do not need a professional camera and it's good for you because that will cut less attention in the street which is good you know what uh, I'm heading toward down via Park Avenue so I'm heading toward Park Avenue now hey Gigi and YC welcome yeah Nancy iPhone 12 is good as well but I I didn't bought iPhone 12 I had iPhone 11 and I skip iPhone 12 and I just upgrade on iPhone 13 and I'm fall in love with iPhone 13 I used for so many years and then when iPhone 14 release I haven't bought that at the very beginning but when I need another phone I was looking for iPhone 13 but there was no iPhone 13 in the market at that time and even they had shortages from for iPhone 14 but I bought it from then T-Mobile and this is how I am ended up getting myself an iPhone 14 but so far I'm, I'm loving iPhone 14 video camera their camera is the best it's way better than iPhone 13 it's way better than any other iPhone they have been released so far I'd love to go down towards uh, 42nd Street more if I had any I, I mean plan to take ferry but I don't think so I will take ferry in this type of weather instead of that direction I will go towards Park Avenue and head towards north via Park Avenue that's the plan I had my iconic peacock umbrella if you are in New York City in the rain or snow if you see this kind of green peacock umbrella it's a sign that it is Sifat <laughs> just kidding guys but I rarely seen any umbrella just like me this is like one of the rarest umbrella I think I ever got hey is TVB hello me too Gigi I don't know what I will do when this umbrella will be break down but I hope I will find another one but I, I just love it so much this is Lexington Avenue hey Martin Martin with ARS 900 thank you so much Martin I really appreciate that you are so generous martin thank you so much martin uh you are such a lovely person a generous person i appreciate that and have a wonderful evening from me thanks for the support sean singh coming to new york on may 11th awesome sean i wish you all the best Oh, Richard, this is Chrysler Building, right here. This is Chrysler Building. It's at the corner of Lexington Avenue and East 43rd Street. This is uh, Chrysler Building. But unfortunately, I don't think so you can see the top. But here it is.
now it's not too much of rain which is good Awesome, Sean. It was a quite good rainy. Uh, Sole saying I want to walk around rain in New York City that's a different experience you can definitely try hello stylish bunny welcome and across the street at the corner of Lexington Avenue and East 45th Street that is Midtown Comic right there that is Midtown Comic I got so many questions about that hey Clary hello some dreamy vibes here hello Jadilson good to see you here Jadilson Fingers, fingers, welcome. Welcome, Christian Hansen. Hey, Jao, we see. Thank you. Hello, Nodi, Deb uh, Willida, saying enjoying the walk today. Thank you so much, Dave. I'm so excited for you, Dave. Thank you so much, Dave. I really appreciate your support all the time. And I'm also excited for your upcoming trip in YC. I'm just counting down for you. And I hope you will be here safely and enjoy your trip. Thank you, Dave, always. very tough to rotate camera but I tried hey Georgie hello hello Anshari welcome Elizabeth, hello, hello, G. Jones, hello, Kirk. And I think now you can come and pick Park Avenue tulips, George Sarge Foundation for Park Avenue on. Um, on Google then you will find a permission uh, flyer you can print that and you can have that with you and follow the instruction they had come and grab all those tulip bulbs you want so search for Park Avenue Foundation and you will find all the link and as I said across the street this is the new JP Morgan and Chase headquarters this is a very futuristic skyscrapers in New York City which is basically cost the company three billion dollar to build it's a pretty unique architecture right here you can see the skeleton of this particular building so if you are here in New York City uh, definitely stop by and look at this 
structure right here before they cover it up with all those other materials just to stop by and see this massive engineering because this is one of the revolutionary architecture here in New York City in the middle of the street and underneath they had a train terminal but they are making the construction so fast and so smoothly without making any interruption of the Grand Central terminal trains here it is folks three billion dollar building it's not a couple of million it's three billion dollar in many countries it's their annual budget three billion dollars there are so many countries in this world they had their annual budget couple of billion dollars and new york city is spending especially jp morgan and chase this is not done by new york city it's done by jp morgan and chase because it is their brand new headquarters look at that a steel frame and covering with glass And on Park Avenue, you will find so many modern buildings. And if you look closely or paying attention, see, most of the building has some sort of uh, setback because this is the rules here in uh, America to have setback so they can allow. I mean, in that reason, we will get suns. I mean, we are getting sunlight in the city even with all these high-rise buildings yeah Lena it's not too heavy anymore and up ahead uh, the Waldorf Astoria Hotel is uh, under huge renovation as well thanks Dalen Al Rutledge, hello. There is a huge tower statue right across the street. That huge tower statue. Look at that. Hey, corner. Capital One. See? People are stopping by and taking pictures of those, this building right here. Hello Jennifer and hello Susan CC. and pick but you have to have those permission you can print out from the website park foundation for park avenue hey elni good to see you here elni how are you thanks for joining oh my good lord how i will cross the street without making my feet wet Oh, here is another swimming pool holy good lord thought travel saying swim swim <laughs> I don't know how to swim Draining system working just fine, but some some streets are not even. They had some like 
uneven surfaces that's why water gets stuck there the rain is picking up again hey Kane Alexander saying thank you so much for your channel thank you Kane for some continuous support to the channel appreciate that Kane Alexander Thank you so much, Kane Alexander. Thanks for your continuous support to the channel. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. From exactly where am I you will see Hamsley building and Midlife building on the back see Hamsley and Midlife and these evergreen trees are having new new growth and had some fruit oh my gosh they are they're lovely and red look at this I love evergreen bushes look at this they got some pretty lovely flower I mean fruits red fruits wow i love these fruits and i love evergreen trees and not only these these trees most of them got some red fruits maybe later they will open up and have some sort of flower Yeah, Sonia kind of looks like some sort of cherry. <laughs> hey, Marwan from Morocco. Park Avenue is quite uh, empty right now because it's not a regular weekday, so most of the offices are closed. So the crowd of Park Avenue has dis disappeared on weekends. Hey, mash up LK. Hello, mash up. This is 52nd Street and Park Avenue.
I'm getting close to the city curb center, another building that almost destroyed the Midtown Manhattan. Uh, it also has some sort of engineering fault, which was figured out by an engineering student. And then she let it know to the main architecture. But at, fa at first, he like he was uh, denied that mistake. But later, they discovered that it is a huge mistake if they didn't solve that. This building might collapse and destroy surrounding buildings. So the engineer was pretty like sharp brain and he fixed everything without knowing anyone that what's going on inside that building because if people know that this building has some sort of engineering default they might freak out and create more scene just like 161 maiden lawn near uh, wall street that building has also some sort of engineering problem and everyone knows that and the construction stopped and there is no progress since then but the architecture of this particular building he was very intelligent and very sharp brain he just fixed everything without <laughs> letting anyone know the situation not even the press they announce everything after they fix all those uh, all those issue right here this is city curb center And on the basement, not in a basement, on the lower level, you will find a food hall called Hue. Yeah, Daria, I'm wearing my brown boots, but a different one. The one I was wearing yesterday that got soaked wet, uh, but my feet was not that wet. Uh, so, need some time to dry since no sun or it's not a cold weather that I need to turn on the heat. So, it's taking some time to dry that shoes, but I had four more pair of that same shoes, so I wear a different one. Okay, Sheila Wind, hello. Hello, Deborah Harris. Yeah, just search City Car Center uh, on YouTube. Like City, City Car Center Collapse History. You will find more information. Hey, Anwar, hello. But I'm always trying my best to just simply discuss the matter. So that everyone can understand I'm not a historian but I love to gather some knowledge about the city because education is always makes you feel happy there is a snake hawk across the street Hey, Ini from Connecticut. Hello. Thanks, Ini. Yeah, this is the Central Senegal. Thanks, photos from around New York. That was that what I was saying. Appreciate that. Thanks for joining. For us from around New Yorker. I mean New York. So this is again Lexington Avenue via Lexington Avenue. I'm heading toward north. Hey, Ollie. 
Hello, Ollie. Currency exchange. It seems like a cafe right here. It's a coffee shop and bakery. Hey, Valerie HM, hello. <laughs> Another huge empty space. Hopefully in few years we'll see something, some progress of construction. And here is Tower 57, another interesting building which was featured in many TV shows but for now I can remember two of them, one Spider-Man and one robot I think, this one, Tower 57. And by the way, this is Lexington Avenue and 57th Street intersection. Hey, Nat Exo, hello. Hey. Daria, Daria Johnson saying we are a few people watching you from Turkey right now. We have a time difference, but we never miss your show. We love walking with you. Thank you so much, uh, Daria Johnson. Appreciate that. I really appreciate that, that you continuously watch my live stream. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Thanks for the support. Elni said, anyone else who is thinking about butterflies so far? Haha, <laughs> amazing video. I mean, I am thinking of butterflies right now. That butterfly vivarium on the Richard Glider Science Education and uh, Innovation Center at American Museum of Natural History is amazing. But they had some strict rules that you can't basically hold the by, I mean, butterfly they should have come to you freely like and they will fly freely again back on park avenue had six seconds only to cross the street i'll not take the risk thanks Anpar.
the rain is again picking up at that point Photos from around New York say that was really cool video you posted this morning. Thank you, photos from around New York. You should definitely check that out as well. They will be open to public from uh, May 4th. Yesterday and today was the member preview. Look at that. You can see the Steinway Tower not that visible but you can see it and I had to cross Atlantic right now <laughs> this is a mini Atlantic here on Park Avenue I had to jump over Atlantic <laughs> and here are all that valves that you can pick up but make sure you have the permission after that you can pick up these healthy bulbs these tulips are really healthy and very good tulips another atlantic trying to block me Hey, Mr. Fig Nuts from New Zealand. Hello. Hey, apprentice. Yeah. Hey, Inspire Live, welcome. Richard Mill, wow, very fancy watch brand. Tamara Britain, hello, hello Tamara. IBM across the street A Tony Norman from Oklahoma. Hello, Tony. Tiffany and Company.
save for the second day. Yeah, Mary Annie, that is Central Park entrance from 59th Street. And here is the Apple store right here. Anyway, I think this is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this uh, live stream in the rain from New York City. If so, then before you leave, kindly hit that like and subscribe for me. And I hope to see you all tomorrow. Till then, stay safe, stay positive, and keep exploring New York City with me. And if you haven't watched my museum video from American Museum of Natural History, you can watch it now. I'll be back and I'll see you soon, guys. Good night and thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.